Coming up on this, Linux Gamecast, quick and dirty, how to, we're installing Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. We're using the old school CD-ROM version. It's also possible with Steam, I'll tell you about that in the show notes if you need some help. And please, don't ask how to install your special version. We'll probably just tell you to eat a bag of something. Let's go. Okay, we're going to install Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, recently open-sourced by Raven Software. First thing we need to do is head over to the GitHub. It's Jedi Outcast Linux. Do a search for that. There'll be a link in the show notes, but we need a few dependencies before we even think about getting started. Some 32-bit or for 64. I'm on 32-bit, so I'm going to be running a sudo apt-get install lib open al1 just from a terminal paste that in but we also need to install wine and git run that and get everything installed let's close that out now we also need the 104 update since we're installing from the cd-rom the original version go ahead and download that and drop it on the desktop. You can see mine here. It's at. Now we're going to clone the git. Let's copy this. For the sake of time, we're doing this all on the desktop. Let's open a terminal here. We're going to run git clone and paste that last bit in. Okay, we're done with that. Let's close this window out. Now we're going to our Jedi Outcast CD. Mine's mounted under Media CD ROM. Let's go into Install. I'm going to open a terminal, do an LS, and we're going to launch launch.exe with Wine. Launch.exe. Install in English. Click Install, and we'll just follow the guide. It's a Next. Yes automatic and that'll put it in your wine folder piece of cake let's hit yes here okay let's close out the installer for that part we can exit the window now let's take care of this update let's open another terminal ls see that exe that's what we're going to install just wine star.exe two-step process continue and okay now it's patched to 104 Now we need to get those base files so we're going to your home directory make sure you have hidden files cut on it's important let's screech down to our dot wine drive C program files LucasArts Star Wars JK2 Game data. Your base folder has four pack files in it. That's what we need. So let's copy the entire folder. And we're going to put it in our Jedi Outcast Linux folder created with our git clone. So from here, let's go into code. And release. Let's paste everything. Now we should have a base folder with our pack files. That's basically it. Let's test it. It's going to open a terminal and we're going to launch JK2SP. 